Hello there, excellent. Welcome back to this Let's Play of Nuclear Throne. So today we'll be playing as YV, who has a higher rate of fire, seems useful enough, and a pop pop. I believe what this does is that it um, takes two ammo at once. Also, we have a weird golden revolver here, which is kind of cool. Um, not sure if that does any difference from a gameplay perspective, but what I believe the pop pop does is use uh, two ammo at once, and yeah. So, of course, that allows you to deal double damage. So, super useful against uh, high enemy or, or high oh, HP foes. So, it seems to mess a little bit with the auto fire on the machine gun, which is something to be aware of. So, the machine gun works a little bit more like a slogger or an assault rifle, which I'm also very cool with because um, that allows me to conserve ammo a little bit better than I otherwise would be able to. Ammo has been a concern over the course of these episodes. Not gonna lie about that. So pretty pretty simple um, passive or secondary or whatever you want to call it here. It's not really a passive because it's an active. Um, but, and I imagine it's one that I'm probably gonna use a lot more than some of the other ones that I tend to forget to actually use because they're a lot more situational. This one you can use almost all the time. Sledgehammer, sure. Not sure how that... Yeah, it seems like... At least it causes the... Um, sledgehammer to... Have a higher reload time, so I imagine it actually does double damage, which is really cool. Uh, Throne bot... Let's take it, not sure what it does. Um, Alright, so it takes 4 ammo instead of um, 2. So I imagine that means that our sledgehammer is just completely gonna wreck stuff. Um, at least the reload time is... Uh, insane so yeah i tried to get a couple of hits in there but it simply wouldn't work so not sure if i like that throne but very much um it's really useful for situations like these where you can sort of pub in pub out but oh other than that maybe it's gonna be a little too tough to actually use probably let's get a little out of the way here um see if we can get something that makes it easier to deal with um, big bandit here what did we get from... Did we get something? Oh, we didn't get the crate yet. Okay. Just a little confused about that for a second. Again, super useful here. Did level up. What else do we have in this level? Not much. Um, so how do we want to take care of this is the question. Shotgun is what I want. But I could also just use my machine gun as a um, very strange shotgun. So yeah, so I guess... Machine gun probably has a faster reload time than the revolver would, but it's still very, very slow. Get this ammo before we empty the rest of the level. Do we want to bring the shotgun with us is a question. Shells looking pretty good, but... At least for the sewers, the sledgehammer is still useful enough. Um, Rhino skin we could have gotten before, but didn't. I tend to prefer bloodlust over Rhino skin, so... So why not? This coffee is really, really black. Um, like, you can't see my face right now. That's probably a good thing because it's uh, getting severely modified by the blackness of this coffee. So let's just throw in some, uh, some wreckage here. I'm not sure if you can hear my mouse clicking, but I'm really trying to force this reload time to be as low as possible. So we went from max HP to not quite max HP very fast right here, because I'm a little bit of an idiot. Laser pistol, yes! So... How does laser pistol work together with the um, throne button that we got? Well, first of all, it seems like it didn't really modify my reload time very much, which is really useful. Because that means that I essentially have a very high-powered um, hitscan weapon here. Absolutely no reason to use it in that particular situation, or in this one. But I did nonetheless, just to get sort of a feel of the reload time. Which seems very low again, so... Didn't level up, so we're on to the scrapyard being only level 3, which is... Bad. I actually thought I brought the sledgehammer, but I guess I didn't. Oh, this is scary. Always tough to find a good spot to, to sit in on the scrapyard. But uh, let's try and see if we can make something happen. I'm probably gonna use my laser pistol against the assassins. Not necessarily using the secondary attack because the assassins tend to be... To, tend to have fairly low HP. 
but um, I'm gonna use it against them nonetheless. I'm actually not sure if they just have one HP. Could be the case. They are very dangerous though, so it would make sense. Um, so one full thrown bot shot doesn't kill these guys. Um, that much I can tell. So... Um, oh! <laughs> those guys always impress me. Uh, max HP, a little bit of ammo. What else do we have here? Trill machine gun, not a big fan, but at least it gave us a bunch of bullets. And there is actually a mimic here. Don't think I noticed that until now. Some of you out there might have, so that was pretty stupid. Lost a ton of health. Shot. Ah, I prefer the machine gun actually. Just because I can use the machine gun effectively as a shotgun by doing my uh, my secondary. So I really like YV secondary. It seems like it's a lot more useful than some of the other ones, but maybe also not quite as good. All right. So coffee break. What else are we looking at? Plutonium hunger is probably pretty useful at this point. Um, I'm gonna go with laser brain just because I'm already running a um, laser pistol here, and it means I can one shot um, several of these guys at once, which is really useful. Actually. What was that sound? Was that the police? Oh, that almost killed me just because I was too slow. So I can actually one-shot these guys with a, a regular um, laser pistol shot right now. If Okay, so it seems like the longer you hit the enemies, um, the more damage it deals. I think that's something I didn't notice before. Um, but that's, of course, very useful to be aware of. So if you can get like a straight shot in like here, uh, it deals a ton of damage. Um, so might have an actual chance to go to the throne room here for once. Which is interesting, of course. If I managed to survive that long, that almost killed me. Get some uh, HP out of that bloodlust. Always happy to see that, of course. Oh, I should really try not to hit the guy. Have the police spawn. Okay, police spawned anyway. God damn police. So I tried to clear out the, uh, the area a little bit by um, by blowing up that car. I think that could be useful. So optimally, I would just spawn the throne room right now. So that it's impossible for more police to spawn. But okay. So uh, what I learned in this run was that this guy has a fairly big range. Um, another golden revolver. I'm not sure what's up with that. So you can see there's both a golden revolver in my hand, but also up here. Uh, the ammo section, um, the revolver is actually golden. Doesn't really seem to do much from a gameplay perspective though, other than look cool. There, this game has so much potential, you know? So many possible secret small modifications to, to gameplay that, that's possible just from the base formula. I really hope this uh, this game is, is going to come uh, continue to see development. Uh, probably go with the laser pistol for now. Then I can always pick up the um, crossbow later. Crossbow is so useful for the 1-3 um, boss fight. Also now we're just completely out of ammo, so why don't we just move back to the... Um, to the revolver, or sorry, to the crossbow. I'm not sure how I feel about the ammo aspect in this game. It's uh, it's arguably the most important part of the game, right? Because you need to constantly be aware of your ammo, which is kind of a nuisance. Uh, it takes away from the pure madness um, somehow in a way that maybe it shouldn't. But still, it it also, on the other hand, is so extremely well balanced that even though it defines the game in sort of a strange way, it also really defines the game in a really good way. Uh, bloodless. Oh, we level up twice, nice. Yeah, well these are pretty bad. Like Impact Rift does this because it's uh, insane. So let's see if we can make some good use of that here. The more corpses the better. Definitely managed to kill a bunch of enemies at once here. <laughs> There's flying all over the place. A soul rifle I really like. I imagine that goes really well with my secondary ability. So I guess essentially that means that I'm using... Ah, oh, I really shouldn't be taking damage here. Six bullets at once instead of three. Oh, watch out for his um, rush attack. 
Uh, so I guess that weird sound is actually me. Okay, that was pretty bad. I had a pretty sweet set as well, the shotgun and the assault rifle. Take the pistol with us for now. Not all that useful until a little bit later. So maybe why we just always has a golden revolver. Or maybe there is something else happening in the game that I'm not fully aware of. So also, I know that why we has a higher default fire rate. Um, so I don't know if that's on the revolver alone. I guess it's not because the fire rate on the revolver is, seems to be mainly de defined by how quickly you can actually push the buttons. Does it say? It does actually say golden revolver here. I should look that up on the wiki. Um, just to see if it makes any difference. Get the XP. And move on. Pretty good first level here, definitely. Even though I'm fairly low on ammo. Uh, more HP for medkits. So maybe the sound that I'm hearing is when I'm getting low bullets. I'm not sure. Wreck these guys very quickly. Ooh. Dodge that stuff. Did take a little bit of damage. Not really a big problem there. Having seven or eight health is probably not what's gonna be my demise here. Oh, sledgehammer up there. Could have been really good, actually. Uh, so I think I killed something down here. Or something killed something down here. There's um Big bandit. Oh, too many bullets all over the place. Alright, so secondary ability really helping me to, to damage Big Bandit very quickly, but still just give me one medkit so that I can get back to almost full HP. That would be really good right now. I'm getting sort of sitting on the edge of my chair right now, hoping that I'll see something good happen. So yeah, let's take the sledgehammer instead just because our bullets are so low. Oh, that almost killed me, actually. Should be a little bit more careful about going into a situation like that one. Alright, so... This enemy HP is really good. Yeah. That's what we're gonna go with, even though my HP is so low that I imagine it's probably not gonna make a huge difference, really. So I can still one-shot these guys with an ordinary attack, so there is no reason to use the secondary one. Here I probably want to do. So I think the laser just always pierces. Which is really useful and something to be aware of. I think I lost some XP right there. Which is unfortunate, but not the end of the world. Did I lose anything up here as well? Nope. So a little bit of a slow transition level here. Can I hit this guy is the question. Oh. Wow, that somehow didn't kill me. So he has a sort of uh, high damage output shotgun kind of thingy. That's a mimic. Ugh. All right, one more time. So even though I kind of like this character so far, it seems like I'm doing substantially worse than some of my other runs. I did make it to the scrapyard, and didn't I? Maybe I'm confusing two runs. I think I did though. Um, let's get the machine gun. Let's lose all of this XP because I'm then I'm a dummy. Sledgehammer is good. Let's go with that instead. So we are seeing some of the same patterns repeat themselves. Um, over these runs. Same weapons that seem good. Maybe I should experiment a little bit more. I'm not sure. I feel like I am already experimenting quite a bit. So yeah, good first level. Uh, didn't really like the throne butt so much compared to some of the other throne butts in the game. I think I'll go with the ammo one. So the main reason I didn't like the throne butt so much was that it can easily put you in a position if you're not careful where so many screwdrivers. I think like the game is trying to send us a message here. Where you're screwing yourself over because you're just putting yourself at the mercy of your very high reload time. Which 
Uh, I really don't want to do it. Ah, so I can actually just uh, mash the button with the machine gun secondary ability there, which is strange, but good to know. So I can shoot fairly fast, but I guess it doesn't really make much sense because I think effectively it uh, it's the same amount of max bullets per second, um, no matter how you deal with it. And then I would much prefer to just um, keep the... Oh, I'm dead. No, I'm not dead, but I'm... Okay, I'm dead. I'm very likely to soon be dead. Oh, that almost killed me as well. Yeah, that killed me. Oh, not doing very well. Get that guy down as soon as possible. But it mixes up the gameplay none nonetheless, this, um, this secondary ability. Grenade launcher is gonna be useful later. As of right now, it's not all that useful. Didn't ding, unfortunately. So here, I should really just mash. XP before anything else. Try not to take damage before anything else. Do all the things at once before anything else. Just throwing a couple of grenades here just to make it a little bit easier on ourselves. Low bullets again. Laser pistol instead of this one, I guess, just because our ammo is low. Although the max ammo on the laser pistol itself is pretty low, so maybe that was not the correct choice. I don't think I ever tried this one actually, it just doesn't seem very good. Mm -hmm. Rhino skin. Oh, scarier face or bloodlust, that's actually a really tough one. I think I'll go with scarier face. Oh, wow, I forgot that that was not my revolver, <laughs> so I just took 10 damage here, to the, straight to the face. And now I'm a little sad that I didn't take Bloodlust, but at least I'm getting a ton of uh, HP packs from these guys, if I can manage to survive for that long. So, let's get rid of this guy very quickly. Did he hit me? I think he hit me. Um, so, can we get this dude out of the way? Alright, so what I really want to do now is get a better weapon than the grenade launcher very fast or some more ammo for our laser pistols. So I guess I'll go with the triple machine gun just for a second. Um, just because I don't feel like wasting grenades on those like uh, 1 HP enemies. Seems a little silly. So here I'm definitely not going to be using my secondary ability because then I'm going to run out of bullets extremely fast. Uh, there is also a screwdriver, so maybe I should just take that instead. This is pretty scary. I should just throw a grenade in there. Make that do all of the work for me. Yeah, it seems to work. Um, bullets, perhaps? Shells and bolts? What? That's completely useless. So really want to get some more XP. Um, so of course, if I hadn't taken Rhino skin, I would have been dead now. But on the other hand, <laughs> um, I should have probably not blow myself up with a grenade to begin with. So anything involving, uh, so any argument that sort of involves logic about blowing yourself up or not is probably completely void here. At least we're conserving some ammo right now, but I'm not very fond of this uh, whole situation as you can probably hear. Oh, that was also really close. But hopefully we can make it back to the scrapyard at least once more over the run or over the course of this episode. We did ding, so I really want to make it out of this level, that's for sure. Maybe we can just get the last wish or something like that, that, get, that gets us back to full health immediately and gives us some more ammo. Where's the red chest? Just give me an assault rifle or something like that. Shotgun would be really useful actually, maybe a slogger. Uh, machine gun... Yeah. Uh, more item drops, good. Chromebot again. I think that's really. I don't think it's very good. So hopefully we can get some health out of this um, rabbit paw. 
We're back to the scrapyard, and we actually have a revolt or a screwdriver this time, so we have the chance to go to the um, the secret level if that was not the um, golden car blowing up right there. Oh, this is scary. Oh, I really shouldn't have jumped in there, that's for sure. And, uh, okay, so we're back to the no sound, apparently. Um, which is a problem, because... <laughs> I can't hear when stuff like this happens. Okay. Uh, I'm scared as hell. At least there's still the um, visible effect of the assassin aiming at me. But the sound really does help out quite a bit as well. But for now we're doing okay, I guess. Uh, except I'm almost out of bullets. Hopefully these are bullets right here. Those were indeed bullets. So where's the golden car? Is it still around? I don't see any golden cars. Could be up here, I suppose. But maybe it's not. It's not, okay. So maybe it's just simply on a different level. Splinter gun? I don't think I tried that before. Let's try it out very quickly. Seems really useful. Uh, don't have the sound to kind of help me uh, determine its complete usefulness. Um, so it's not like a slow crossbow shotgun combo. Which is really good. Unfortunately, my ammo with it is a little bit low, so I'll probably jump right back to my um, trusty machine gun up here eventually. But for now, this seems pretty good. Also, I'm almost back to full health, so all of my worries from before um, have been taken care of, kind of. Really want to see that golden car still there. Is it around here? Doesn't seem to be. Get this XP. We dinked. That's good. Almost on the boss level, actually. With no sound, which is scary as hell. In particular, I can't hear if the police is going to show up, which is, uh, of course, also bad for business. In general, having no sound is just a huge pain in the ass here. So, okay, so the police is going to show up if uh, I'm not careful here. That much is clear. Um, okay, so let's just use the remaining splinter or oh, flamethrower. It seems really cool. Huh. Not all that useful conserves. Uh, well, okay, so it's actually not a very good from an ammo perspective either. So I really want to clear this area out first, because then I can really see how I'm doing from an ammo perspective. In particular... Was that the, the final enemy? I guess not. So I guess we'll be going back for our machine gun. Was it a machine gun? My short-term memory is... Uh, Messing with me here a little bit. 61 ammo is not all that useful, just because the machine gun in itself is not that good. Splinter gun seems really good, but with only four bolts, that's also not really all that useful to begin with. Oh, that could have easily killed me. That was a very poor decision. Auto crossbow is pretty good, um, but again, our bolt situation is not perfect. Oh. More throne bot, melee range. All of these are pretty bad, so I might actually go with the throne bot for, for this one. Um, I guess... Oh, shit. <laughs> I guess auto crossbow could be super useful against this guy. If I had any bolts, which I don't. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Oh, you can... Could you just die very quickly, perhaps? I'm not gonna kill him with a screwdriver. <laughs> and I can't get to all of this ammo. Ooh, can I get this health at least? Oh, I blew myself up. Of course I did, because assassins blow up. That was some poor decision to my part. But at least, again, we made it to level 7. Which seems to very often be the end of me, but there's not all that much to do about it. It seems like a perfect place to end this episode, though. Um, so what are we gonna do in the next episode? We're gonna look uh, at steroids. Who starts loaded? Not sure what that means. Probably means that he has more ammo with the various weapons, perhaps. Less accurate, that seems really bad. And dual wielding, so that means that we can shoot both weapons at once. Which is pretty cool. Uh, because essentially, that can mean that it, I guess, halves our reload times if we're using separate weapons. Or, sorry, the same weapon in, in, uh, in both hands. Which could be useful. Of course, not very good for ammo, but... And let's see in the next episode how that's going to work out for now. As always, thank everybody for watching and I will see you some other time.